Coming up on Access Tech Live. Samsung unveils some new flagship hardware, the legalities of AI, and we can't stop talking about CES. This is Access Tech Live with Stephen Scott and Mark Aflalo. The latest in tech and accessibility every week. Follow us now and get involved at Access Tech Live. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Access Tech Live. I am Stephen Scott, by my slide every week is Mark Aflalo. Mark, another big week in tech news and it's only a couple of weeks into 2024. It seems so quiet on Monday and then we remembered, oh wait, <laughs> Samsung has something big to announce on Wednesday and it all went to, you know, you know where it went after that. Yeah, always does. But you know, we've got a lot to talk about and a lot to break down with the Samsung news. We'll get into that in the headlines in a moment. Uh, but of course, lots of other conversations to have. You mentioned AI off the top. When do we start doing one of these shows, Mark, where we don't talk about AI? When will that actually ever happen? Will it ever happen? It'll happen when AI does our jobs for us. <laughs> oh, when, when it's doing the show for us. Okay, exactly. It's when AI totally Stephen terrifying. and AI Mark show up for work. Yeah, okay. That's only massively <laughs> terrifying. Thank you for that. Uh, I no am now absolutely scared. Uh, okay, look, let's talk about what else is on the show today. Uh, funnily enough, we're going to be talking about AI and the legalities of AI, as you were saying off top. David Lepowski is joining us today. He's a disability rights attorney, and he'll be joining us to talk all about that, and in particular, a story we're going to be hearing uh, in the headlines in a moment. Uh, and talking about that legal side of AI, because, of course, we're all using it, uh, but what is it that we're getting from it? You know, if you ask it to write your story on a topic like, hey, tell me all about Access Tech Live, where is that information coming from? So it's an interesting discussion we're going to have with David today. Also, we're going to have more from CES. It is the gift that keeps on giving. It really is. And we're mm -hmm. looking forward to sharing even more uh, of the content that we have that we recorded after the camera stopped rolling on our two special episodes that we broadcast last week. What? You haven't checked those out yet? Well, they're all available for you on AMI Plus and on YouTube, so go check them out. But before we get into all of that, here's Mark with the headlines. Now, Access Tech Live headlines. So, yesterday, Samsung took the wraps off their latest flagship smartphones at an event in San Jose. The new devices all feature something called Galaxy AI. They all look identical to the last year's models, so nothing to change there. Very slight variations. They include the S24, S24 Plus, and the S24 Ultra. Here's Drew Blackard, VP of Product Management for Samsung. The Galaxy S24 series is our most exciting, most innovative, and most intelligent one yet. It'll help you capture and create, take better notes, and enjoy better gameplay. With a range of gender-neutral colors inspired by nature, our Galaxy S24 series redefines durability and style. This series is a testament to resilience, sophistication, and Samsung's cutting-edge innovation. And it contributes to our vision of a sustainable future. The S24 and S24 Plus have new colors, black, gray, violet, and yellow. They're squared off like an iPhone on the corners, the bezels are slightly thinner, and the screen sizes are 6.2 inches for the S24 and 6.7 inches for the Plus. Both also have slightly larger batteries. Now, the S24 Ultra has major changes, or minor changes as well, depending how you look at it. It's a little thinner, has titanium sides, the display is completely flat compared to the rounded edges of older models, and it's available in black, titanium, violet, and yellow. All colors for all the devices are a matte finish as well. Now, software-wise, AI is the star of the show. Surprise, surprise. New features include an AI keyboard that'll make suggestions about your style and tone as you type. Notes will turn random scribbles into bullets and summer and voice memos or voice notes get major enhancements thanks to AI as well. Here's Heejin Chung, Samsung software R&D lead. I'm sure all of you have had that experience when you're in a group meeting or a lecture and you wish someone could take notes for you. Having a tool that helps you recall who said what and provides a quick recap of lectures and conversations can be helpful to everyone, including those who are hard of hearing. The native voice recorder app on our Galaxy devices has had speech-to-text available in different languages. Now, instead of creating a basic transcript, Galaxy AI can distinguish between different speaking voices and will even create a short and sweet summary of what was said. 
Thanks to Galaxy AI, the Photos app is a full-fledged editor. You can remove things from the background and adjust the background blur, and even select and move objects in a photo while it fills in the rest. Last but not least, one of the apps getting a brand new standout feature is the phone itself. Using AI to offer real-time translation in both text and speech, here's Samsung's VP of Product Management, Drew Blackard again. One of the most important and essential things we do every day is communicate with each other. It's how we express ideas and build relationships. But if we don't share the same language as someone, we can miss opportunities for connection. Like while traveling, language can be a barrier. For example, have you ever used a rideshare app while traveling abroad? You get a call from the driver, but you can't communicate because you don't speak their language. Simple situations can become complicated. We're thrilled to offer a solution by providing real-time voice translations while you're on a call. When you make or receive a call in a language you don't speak, the Galaxy S24 series can provide live translations of your call, both verbally and on screen, right away. How cool is that? Google made the appearance of Samsung's event as well, announcing a new feature that will be available not only to Samsung devices, but other Android devices. They call it Circle to Search. Here's Google's VP of Search, Kathy Edwards. I'm thrilled to unveil Circle to Search, a new way to search anything on your Android phone using a simple gesture without switching apps. Thanks to breakthroughs in Google AI, you can now circle, highlight, scribble, or tap whatever you're curious about on your screen to learn more. Edwards goes on to give a real-world example of how the feature works across Android. She demonstrates it on a picture of an influencer wearing a fancy, fancy sunglasses and a padded bag. Today, if I see something I'm interested in, I'd have to take a screenshot and then leave the app to search it. And switching between different apps can be kind of inconvenient and take you out of your flow. But now, just long press the home button to invoke Circle to Search. And from there, you can select any item, like these sunglasses, to quickly uncover similar options and where to buy them. Without leaving where you are, you could also scribble the bag to see what that is. I've been really into this padded bag trend lately, so we'll definitely be checking these out. It's so amazing, right? I think that padded bag might look good on Steven. Uh, so no matter where you are in the Android operating system, you press and hold the home button and can immediately circle, tap, or scribble anywhere on the screen. It sends it to Google for instant search results. We'll definitely have more as we get hands-on with these devices. In other news, it's not Samsung. Well, OpenAI, the New York Times is in trouble. The New York Times is the latest news publication to file a lawsuit against OpenAI and Microsoft and its artificial intelligence software, ChatGPT. According to the Times, the suit alleges that OpenAI used millions of Times articles to train the automated chatbots with information. Now, there's a similar suit to that of other news publications that are siding with the Times. We'll chat with this a little bit deeper with David Lepofsky a bit later on on the show. Meanwhile, ChatGPT is being credited with helping a user User Aaron Ramirez succeed as a blind computer science student. Aaron revealed the challenges he faced before discovering ChatGPT and how the AI service played a pretty pivotal role in transforming his learning experience. He was quoted as saying, I was practically failing before ChatGPT because of a few of my professors were visual learners or teachers. We'll hear from Ramirez a bit later on in the show. Finally, the Blind Shell Classic 2 is getting a pretty cool update. The Blind Shell is a leading provider of smartphone technology for those who are blind or partial cited and they've announced that their blind shell classic 2 is the latest device to get the be my ai feature from be my eyes the process is simple according to double taps michael babcock making it accessible for people with varying levels of technological proficiency i think that's enough news for the day steven i think that just might be like my limit a lot of news to take in and a lot of samsung yeah. news and interesting you know we even heard there about you know how technology is helping people who are hard of hearing i think what's interesting and i think what is fascinating is we're starting to see 
a normalization of accessibility in a really cool way. We're just talking about it now. It's no longer this walled off thing that you know lives behind this thing called accessibility in your smartphone mm -hmm. or in your computer. It's just part of everyday life. And I think people are starting to realize that. And this is great because of course, that makes more products more accessible because you, know, you might call that feature accessibility adjacent, right? It's not really an accessibility feature, but it becomes one. And I think that's fantastic. So yeah, I mean, look, and look, forget all that. Are you going to buy a Samsung S24? I kind of want one now because of these features. I'll tell you, software is now what is kind of defining what's better and what's not. So, you know, to the other ones out there, you know who you are. You got to up your game a little bit on the software side to make it compelling because these are really interesting features. Yeah. Samsung, well, the S stands for sexy. That's it. <laughs> Stephen, the question of the day today is, how are you using AI in your daily life? A cool question because this can go in so many different directions. If you want to get involved and let us know your answer, you can connect with us on all social media platforms at Access Tech Live. Maybe you're watching it right now on one of those. Or you can email us feedback at Access Tech Live as well and get involved. When we return here, David Leposky joins us to break down the news of the week and dive into some of the legalities. I got a lot of questions here about AI in general. Please do stick around. We'll be right back. There's more Access Tech Live to come. Get involved and have your say at Access Tech Live on social media. We'll be right back.